Warg, where are you? Up oh, there they are. All right, so they're coming now, um, which means I should probably wake everyone up and have them man the walls. I'm not gonna bother with Oda though. Oda's a meleeer. If I can help it, I'm not gonna have Oda run out and melee wargs. Seems like a waste. So I believe the way the base is set up now, I don't even have to put anything in lockdown. Uh, the wargs don't have access to any of my animals, so it doesn't even really matter. Whether I lock things down or not. So the wargs are almost here. I'm going to flick on the turrets. And I've been asked a few times about this, how this works, and it's kind of hard to describe in written words, but basically the way to flick turrets on and off without having to actually flick is to have two different power conduit networks. One without power that's unpowered and switched off via switch and one that is powered. And all that I'm doing is I'm selecting every single turret and switching uh, where they connect to. It's not magic or anything. It's not a mod. It's just... Uh, Pretty simple. Alright, so I also got... Oh, this is uh, in my other outpost. Muffalo wool. That's not useful. Alright, so here come the wards. There was a lot of them. And they don't really know what to do here. But they're about to enter turret hell. Um... Alright, so Outpost needs a name. I'm naming it No Man's Jungle. After a game that let down pretty much the entire gaming community. I figured, uh, why not name it as an homage to the great scam of 2016. Yeah, these wargs are getting messed up. Maybe I can actually make a pet of a few of them. I'll see if any of them aren't bleeding out insanely fast when I'm done clearing them out. What's exploiting X? I kind of missed what you guys were talking about in chat. Alright, so this is probably... I need a little bit more wood. Check back on my heroes here. Oh, uh, the power switching? Yeah. I guess. Man, they're getting shredded. Yet there's still more. I mean, the thing is, I have a switch right here, so if I didn't use power switching, it wouldn't be that much different. I'd flick one switch and the whole network would go off. Um, it barely saves me footwork due to my design. So here, Oda is going to switch off all the turrets, because I don't really need them anymore. And that isn't much different. Alright, so I think that's the last of them. Uh, so let's see if there's any that are worth saving. Uh, why not you? And you are... Oh, let's go with younger, actually. As young as I can get. Age 8, age 5, that's better. 11, 4. But permanent injury. Alright, so... Let's try to save you. You're bleeding out pretty fast. Age 2. Let's save you. Are they all female? So far... They're all female. 
which is kind of strange. I was hoping for a breeding pair, but I don't think I'm going to get that because they all... Oh, no, here we go. Here's a male. Eye injury. Uh, all right, let me zoom out and set up a hunt order so I can see them easier. Make sure I don't miss any. So... Here's a male. And we'll call that good. Three wargs. Wargs are faster than polar bears, and the problem is, in the raids I've, I've been facing, I need my animals to close the distance rather than to maul things to death. So I think it's important that they're fast and not um, tough. I mean, both would be great. Don't get me wrong. If I could get fast and tough, that'd be perfect, like a thrumbo, but... I'm not likely to get any Thrumbo anytime soon. Alright, so now let's patch them up. How about... Alright, so we rescued the 5-year-old, the 8-year-old, and the 2-year-old. Uh, perfect. Alright, so I think we're ready to launch this pod too. So I'm going to load up with everything left here. Um, and I'll max out the steel. I'm going to leave the cats. I don't really care for them. And let's go load. Perfect. Alright, this warg... Oh, you didn't finish. Oh, because it died? And, yep, the male died before I could even patch it up. I guess there's nothing I could have done about that. BC, how about you go patch up the other one? You're better at medicine than Whitmire, so it'll be faster if you do it. Alright, so we have two females instead. That's fine. I don't know if he's going to be able to patch this one up before it dies, though. I guess we'll see. We'll have to wait and find out. Death in one hour. Oh, you named it. Well, try not to let it die. Because you just formed a bond with a dying animal. Now, if you could, you know, patch up the heart injury rather than all these, like, little nicks and cuts, it would survive better. Uh, the other one died, too. Jesus. No, it didn't. It just looked dead for a second. Alright, so my colonists loaded this all up. So let's go ahead and launch the group. And we'll come back here so that I won't bust any walls or doors or roofs or whatever. Alright, so Stroke survived. Wow, there's nowhere to even put this warg. That is ridiculous. Um, so if I go to the world now, I'm just going to abandon this colony altogether. No Man's Jungle. I guess anything named No Man's is used to getting it abandoned. I'm abandoning a bunch of cats there too, but I don't really care. I was only going to butcher them. Now, I'm going to see if there's any worth saving left out here, given that I've already worked on my breeding pair. But I think they're all bleeding out too fast, except for this one. Um, so... Amy. How about you try to save that one? Or whoever my best doctor is. I think it's BC or Oda. One of the, one of the two. Let's see, Dr. BC, you rescue this. What about you? Ah, oh, you're bleeding out too fast. Alright, and treat without medicine. Another female. Yep, 
frame rate is a lot higher now, fortunately. Sorry about that, guys. I will not play 400 by 400 in the future. All right, BC is mental breaking, um, so we need someone else to patch the rest up, which will be Missa. And then I'm going to restrict these wargs to the zone. Now, of course, the thing is, this warg here hasn't been tamed yet. Still needs to get tamed. And same with this one. But wargs are pretty awesome um, war pets, for sure. So I'm excited about this. Oh, electrical discharge. All right, in the ass end of nowhere. That's fine. Just go put it out. Who's starving? BC starving? Well, you decided to wander, so you're an idiot. So I don't really care. Alright, so now let's turn these turrets off. Why are they still on? Oh, they're connected to the wrong network. Alright, so now they're off for real. I still have a lot more butchering to do. I need to get through uh, this pile of bodies here. Uh, Nexus. You won't do it? Who will do it? I don't even care how bad you are at cooking. Someone needs to do it. In fact, the worse you are at cooking, the better. Because uh, we'll get less meat, which means it can get through more bodies. Basically, I don't want the outside of the base to be littered with rotten corpses. That's all I'm trying to avoid. So for all of you Europeans, this is a bit of a North American broadcast. I don't normally air this time. I will air some broadcasts that are better times for you guys as well. Uh, but then, of course, there's all the back episodes of WoADs to have to be aired as well. Um, and I cut a lot of that video. I cut a few hours of video into 20-minute episodes, so I just have to publish them now. Upload and publish them, so you'll have that as well. Um, this playthrough is getting consistently more buggy. I'm a little bit worried about not being able to continue this series because it's crashed two times and now I'm stuck auto-saving. Now, of course, I could turn off auto-saving, but given how often it crashes, there's the real threat of it um, crashing and losing hours of play. Because uh, this has just crashed again. Uh, it's doing an app hang. I guess I could try to, well, all right, I'll close it down and try to get this up and going again as soon as I can, seeing what I have lost. But, I, you know, it might be that this alpha hasn't worked out all the bugs or that uh, the map size is too large for some reason and it's, it's memory leaking i'm not quite sure all right so we'll just load the autosave and i might have lost some time here but i'm hoping not too too much time it could be because of the mods but this is a pretty popular mod um plus it's not been crashing when i'm trying to interact with the mods it's been crashing when i'm loading a new zone or um transporting or potting i think yeah i mean i like that idea a lot of people are requesting uh, a modded series of call of cthulhu so that's pretty much what i'm gonna do what i can do here missa is turn this into a recorded episode um just get caught up and cut all the video of the stream and then re record individual episodes of it instead maybe it's streaming that's causing it to crash but i really do think it's actually probably map size and bugs um 
Now, one thing I could do, uh, I probably wouldn't, but changing the default map size and resettling somewhere else. Uh, but yeah, I do think it is the map size. Uh, the map size was fine in Alpha 15, but now in Alpha 16, I think it's just asking too much to have a map of 400 by 400. Plus, you never really have a base that large. Uh, not that you wouldn't even really want to. Um, yeah, my PC is fine. It's it's not. Uh, I wish it was the PC because then I could upgrade the PC. Uh, but the PC is about as upgraded as you can get. Um, it is a quad core i7 with uh, a $600 graphics card and solid state drives and uh, super fast memory and all. Oh, okay, so I'm already all the way back here. Great. Thanks, game, for rolling back a little. I wonder if I'll have that Manhunter Swarm, or if it, like, never happened. Um, what I'll try to do, I'll try to make a mem mem mental note and edit this a little bit on when I cut the episodes. Uh, so we'll see. But I'm just going to let the time progress. Um, Everything was already set in motion, so that uh, I wouldn't need to really do very much. Now, I do want to get butchering, so I think I'm going to lift that work restriction again, like I did before. But just tell Missa to butcher, and I'm going to not allow the larger creatures to butcher, because a large elephant takes up one cell, and is, in a way, like compressed meat. I know how ridiculous and gross that sounds, but... That is effectively what an elephant is, is like a compressed meat pod. Um, actually, I don't know if... I just thought about something. If you load meals up into a transport pod, can it spoil? Because I'm thinking it won't. I'm not sure, but I'm thinking that meals and anything else that can go rotten won't spoil while in a transport pod... Meaning you could hypothetically refrigerate like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of meals for free by just sticking them in a transport pod and only canceling the load when you needed the food. Um, if you have no components, well, the obvious answer is make them. Um, one of the viewers said they are in a mountainous area with no components. Now... You can strike compacted machinery. Um, you're only ever going to find four to eight at a time. You'll never find more than that. There aren't... They don't come in larger uh, veins, I guess, than that. Unlike steel and the other metals. Uh, compacted machinery, jade, and uranium, you're, not, you're just not going to find very much of. Um, but you can just... What I, what I do, at least, is every time a trader ever comes to my base, I make damn sure I buy their components. Unless I have, like, 80 or something. Unless I have some insane number of components already and I don't need any more. Uh, but I always, always, always trade for them. So you can ask for trade convoys and try to get trade convoys to come um, trade you, you know, uh, whatever, whatever you need. Whatever you're components or whatever other resources you might need it's it's not just of course restricted to um uh to components you know like i in my ci survival challenge i thought i was going to have to mine for the remainder of my uh uranium and i ended up just buying it from a bulk goods trader that just happened to swing by which was total total luck um so you just never know what you can buy off those guys. And there is a mod to bring more traders to your, um, I guess, colony or whatever, town, village, whatever you want to call what you're making. I guess it's technically a colony or whatever. Uh, there are mods to allow you to increase the number that come. Um, so that could be pretty useful to get... Uh, you know, more resources that you're lacking. Alright. 
I have a considerable amount of cat skin, which is a little disgusting. And Amy is making the last round of chem fuel I need, which is awesome. And we'll get them back home. Hopefully not to immediately crash again. <laughs> 